What is up, critics? Welcome back to the series where I build popular movie slash TV show vehicles using cars and GTA Online. Remember to let me know down below in the comments what movie slash TV show car you want to see me customize next, and I'll display the most liked vehicle suggestion comment in the next build video. Now again guys, remember that I do have a separate series for the Fast and Furious cars, so again, this movie slash TV show series is for the other popular movie vehicles. So in today's video, we're going to be building Mike Lowry's 1994 Porsche 911 964 Turbo from the movie Bad Boys, the first one. Now the car made multiple appearances throughout the movie, but the most notable one was the final sort of chase scene with the Cobra that was just awesome. But anyways, the vehicle we're going to be using for this build is the Comet Retro Custom. Now to get the Comet Retro Custom, you have to buy the regular Comet from the Legendary Motorsport website or the Benny's website for $100,000. And then you have to take it to Benny's or a custom shop that allows you to install Benny's upgrades and install the Benny's Comet Retro Custom Conversion, which costs $645,000. So that means that the base cost of the Comet Retro Custom is $745,000 pretty expensive but when you really think about it it's still under a million dollars for a Benny sports car it really isn't all that bad especially if you compare it to a lot of the newer cars these days now the Comet Retro Custom is mainly based on the RWB Porsche 911 930 Turbo which has a crazy custom wide body kit which Rockstar clearly took inspiration from now unfortunately, we can't remove the Y body and make it a normal body, which is a bit unfortunate, but it just is what it is. This car came out back in 2016 and Rockstar still never gave us a normal body variant of the Comet Retro, so I highly doubt we'll ever get one at this point. It's been, what, seven years? It's just not gonna happen. <laughs> Plus, the Porsche from Bad Boys was based on the newer 964, but again, the Comet Retro is still the closest we currently have in the game. But anyways, let's go ahead and start the build for the Porsche 964 Turbo from the movie Bad Boys. Alright, Bad Boys Porsche, let's do it. Now what do you okay, so as usual for all these builds, I do max armor and performance mods. We'll do that, brakes, all that. Alright, front bumpers. So in general for this car, I mean, this is the Benny's sort of like wide body custom variant so um, it would be nice if we had a normal bodied variant in the game but we don't so in regards to that most of the customization on this car is pretty wild there really isn't anything that's subtle like you know an OEM stock Porsche 964 so just is what it is but um, yeah the closest bumper is going to be the mark uh, one race bumper this is gonna be the closest one right here I've looked through all of them and honestly that's just gonna be the closest one um, now you could also alternatively go with the um, mark 2 track bumper if you want but it just has the reinforcement brackets and um, I think the shape of the bumper with the curvature of that front uh, sort of splitter is just too aggressive um, so yeah in general I think that the mark 1 is the closest and then these other ones here are just like carbon variants you can see the carbon trim in there the car did not have any carbon so again Mark 1 race bumper, especially when we paint it in black, you'll see it'll look a lot better. So Girl, that's the one we're going to go with good. right there. And in terms of rear bumper, you're actually going to keep this one stock. The car did not have any diffusers. Continuing to engine, we got the strut brace. So this one, um, so the 964 Porsches, they did have a strut brace, but it was hidden behind the carpeting in the car in the front trunk. Um, so the strut brace on the real one was actually color match to the car which was black in this case now we can't really do that you can probably do carbon but I think that's just a bit off in terms of um, accuracy so the closest to me that a thin little strut brace I think is gonna be the the stock one so we'll keep that engine tunes will max it out exhaust now I would choose the um, the big bore but unfortunately that's linked to your secondary color for some reason so since we're gonna do black for primary and secondary we'll have black exhaust tips which just won't look right the real car had chrome exhaust tips um, so yeah the stock is gonna be the closest 
fenders. So this one adds different vents and stuff. You want to keep this stock. Unfortunately, there's no option to remove the little bolts to make it, you know, more smooth. Um, just is what it is. So kind of something you have to deal with with this ver variant of the car. Um, but yeah, stock. Hood accessories, you want to keep the stock. The car did not have any hood catches or anything. Um, hood option. So th this one really annoys me. So the real car had um, a hood vent with the sort of like uh, body lines kind of flanking it. And it looked phenomenal. Um, so the first option here has those similar hood lines. But then it adds the sort of like vent up front at the front edge of the bumper. The real car had the vent at the back edge of the bumper. I mean, <laughs> it's just really, really annoying. Um, but you go through all the options here. We can see there's no option that's similar to the real one. Maybe this one is a compromise, but to me it just doesn't look right. Um, so again, the stock is going to be the closest, unfortunately. So we'll keep that there. Continuing to interior. So in terms of trim and trim design, you want to keep the stock. This is sun strips for some reason. The car didn't have any sun strips. Um, trim color is going to be the interior color. Um, now, unfortunately, you can't make this interior like a full-fledged, like super dark black interior. Um, the stock seats are kind of like gray. Same thing with the headliner and all that. So I think the best route to go with this is to just make it match. Um, so I think dark steel is going to be the way to go. Obviously the real car had like a full black leather interior. Um, but yeah, this will be the closest. So we'll do that. Dash, you want to leave this stock. Dials, um, you also want to leave this stock. The car didn't have any of these crazy dials. Door cards, also stock. Seats, this one's fully up to you. Um, you can either go with stock seats or you can go with the sport seats. Again, all personal preference. Uh, the real 964 Turbo, it had sort of like sports seats, not as crazy as these. Let me show you guys on this angle here. Um, but it, it did have somewhat sporty seats. It definitely wasn't, you know, normal, regular car seats. Like these to me look like normal, you know, car seats. They just don't look right. I, I think it, it should, it kind of deserves more like a sporty seat. So as a reference to that, I guess we'll go with the sports seats here. Steering wheels, you want to keep the stock. It's going to be the closest to the real one. Um, light color. Now, the light, the gauge cluster of the real one, um, it was a black face with white font. And for some reason, on the on the Comet, the regular Comet and also the Comet Retro, they share the same gauge cluster. Um, it's got like a dark blue face. It's really, really weird. And if you do ice white font, it just makes it look worse. <laughs> so... What I found, the best way to do to try to like make the face look more black while also having the font look um, still somewhat white is to go down here to the uh, bleached brown. And this makes the face of the gauges appear to be black and also the font to be white but just slightly darker. And I think to me this, this definitely works the best out of all the options. I've gone through all of them. Um, this is going to be the closest to give you the the face of the ages to look black instead of dark blue so we'll do that roll cage the car didn't have any roll cages so I'll keep that stock lights you want to leave these stock liveries also stock plates so the real car obviously had a Florida plate and the uh, text on the plate was BVQ space 40E so for those of you who want to replicate that you can Again, as I usually state in these videos, I wonder when Rockstar is going to give us <laughs> the ability to do custom plates like they used to with the website they promised, but we still don't have that currently at the time of this recording, so I'm going to have to leave my generic plate text. However, I think the um, the blue and white one looks a bit closer instead of the California style cursive script for the San Andreas, so we'll do blue and white for? one there. Um, respray. So for this, you just want to go with a classic. Uh, black very simple there um, or you could do the crew black which to me just looks better let me just get rid of the pearl there really quick um, so yeah crew black just a bit darker compared to the um, normal black as you can see back and forth there um, the, the crew black just looks a bit more premium you know pure black looks a lot better and then we're gonna have our secondary match crew black boom but again there's nothing wrong with the classic black that's perfectly okay too you can see it's not that much of a difference 
Um, it's just a bit darker, but yeah. A uh, trim color we already did in the interior category. Um, as a matter of fact, maybe we can just make it a bit darker. Yeah, it just looks weird when you have that too dark in the center. I think it's just better to match it. Maybe black steel. Don't I'll do that. Okay. Um, crew emblem goes on the door for this car. Okay. Is that... Okay. Alright, I thought it was on one side. <laughs> okay, now in terms of the skirts. Now this one, I've seen on some other people make these builds. Um, and they usually pick like the full primary skirt. But if you look at the real car, uh, let me show you this angle right here. You can see how the skirt is flush up against no, the door. And if you choose this option, now you actually get a skirt that kind of extends outward. And that's the same situation with all these options here. So to me, the closest one is actually going to be the stock because it doesn't have the skirt that comes out. So yeah, stock is what I'm going to keep there, even though it does have the ugly bolts, which these get rid of. Uh, but it just looks a lot better than having the giant side skirt on it, um, you know, in terms of the accuracy of the build. So, all personal preference, but for accuracy's sake, the closest technically would be the stock. Spoiler upgrade. So, the real car had the famous whale tail spoiler. I love, love, love that spoiler. It's just gorgeous. Rockstar decided to do like their own sort of variation of that, which is like a ducktail sort of look. Um, which looks okay, but I would have much preferred the whale tail style spoiler as an upgrade or something. Um, now it's funny because the Comet S2 actually got an upgrade similar to that, but Rockstar didn't give it to the the, the retro custom, which just makes no sense to me. Um, but yeah, none of these wings work. The closest is going to be the stock. Um, suspension. Now the car had stock ride height. Uh, the Comet retro custom actually sits pretty low. So the closest is actually going to be stock, so keep that stock there. Transmission will do. Turbo will also do because it is, you know, turbo car in real life. Um, wheels. So this one you have a few different options you can go with. So the wheels on the uh, 964 Turbo, they're gorgeous wheels. Nice five spokes with the two-piece design. Um, silver spokes with the chrome slash polished uh, lip looks absolutely gorgeous. Um, so for this... You can go to track, and you can choose um, the Speed Boy, or you can choose the 90s running, but the spokes on these are just wrong, even though they do have the um, the bolts on the lip, which looks phenomenal, but it just doesn't work. Um, so the alternative is to go to sports, and you can either go with the Deep Fives. You can see they have a very similar um, look to the spokes with the way they kind of like... Um, curve inwards so very very cool the way they did that there and it has the chrome lip which really works or you can also do the or are they here the rough welds these are also very very similar um, pretty much they're they're the, the, the kind of custom variant of the stock wheels I mean they're almost identical to the stock wheels but without the tire lettering that's forced on there so but no chrome lip on those unfortunately and to me I think they're just that they're just too um, wide, especially in the back. I don't think it looks, I think it's just way too wide, even though this is a wide body, but it doesn't have the chrome lip. So to me, I think the uh, the deep fives are gonna be the closest. So yeah, with the chrome lip and everything, so we'll do that. And of course, wheel color, we want alloy because of the bright silver. Unfortunately, we can't do bright silver in GTA, so alloy is kind of what we're stuck with. Um, windows, the car did not have any tints, um, so you want to keep that stock. And that's all the options there. Alright, let's take it for a drive. Alright, side here. Looks so good. You don't know how much I wish we can get rid of those stupid bolts. It's an option for a lot of other Benny's cars, but for some reason... Comment Retro Custom, you cannot remove it. Really, really annoying. Just is what it is. Um, but it's from far away, you don't notice it too much, so I guess it's not that bad. Just in general, we just really need a normal, non-wide body variant of the Comet Retro Custom. I don't know why we don't have that. It makes no sense to me, but that's Rockstar for you sometimes. Interior here. Let's give us some revs. Sounds great. Floor it. So we don't have a spoiler upgrade, it gives us a traction benefit, so this car is a bit sketchy to drive without a spoiler upgrade. 
but it, it, it's still fun. I like it. And this, it is a fast car. It's not slow by any means. This thing flies. And it's a straight line. It's an absolute beast. Handling is somewhat decent. Kind of like OG sports car, sort of, in terms of handling. Um, but the speed is great. So this car is from mid-pack of the sports class, for those of you wondering. Um, so pretty decent there, all things considering. And believe it or not, it's around the same pace as a Comet S2 on a track, which is kind of funny. Yeah, beautiful looking car. The white body looks sick if you're going for like a crazy custom build, but I just wish that we, we had a normal, you know, variant of the Comet Retro. And I know a lot of people agree with that as well. <laughs> I've seen that commented on countless forums and videos and stuff, even on my videos too. Like, we need a non-wide-bodied Comet Retro Custom, I agree, but um, I don't think Rockstar is ever going to do it, personally. But, uh, alright, so let's, um, I scratched a little bit there, but let's pull over and open all the doors and stuff here, even though we saw most of it at Benny's, but, well, not Benny's, at the custom shop, with, with the Benny's parts. <laughs> our vehicle doors go all, okay, there's a strut brace, the front trunk texture quality is absolute trash. How did Rockstar miss this on a Benny's car? That is atrocious, Jesus, that's awful. That's really bad. And why is there... I don't know if it's the lighting? The flashlight out here. It's like... What? It's got it's got this sort of like... Section here that lifts. Well, not lifts, but it's a raised section on this side. And then on this side, it's just not there. It's like an endless black hole. That's... That's weird. I thought it was the lighting, but the flashlight is not really helping. That's a bit weird. Okay. Here's the interior again. It looks yeah, it looks a lot better with the sports seats, I think. Oh, this opens too. Look at that. Oh, the engine model. Sick. I haven't seen this in forever. That is wild looking. Do the belts work on this one? I don't even know. Vehicle remote functions. Do they? Oh, they don't. That sucks. Oh, that sucks. Come on, Rockstar. Come on. It's a Benny's car. It's funny because I forgot. I think it was the Elegy Retro Custom. I made an updated customization video on it. I want to say about two years ago. And the, the, the belt and pulleys weren't working on that car. And I said it in my video. And then in the next DLC, Rockstar actually made them work, which was kind of funny. I think that was, yeah, it was Tuner's DLC, I believe. So they, they went back and they changed that, but for this car, it still doesn't work, unfortunately. So that sucks. Uh, but the detail in there is pretty good. Um, overall, I guess it's the best car to use to make the build. Um, it just is what it is. Uh, maybe one day we'll get, you know, a normal Comet Retro, but for now, this is the closest. Anyways, guys, definitely let me know what movie slash TV show build you want to see me do next down below in the comments. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.